In order to manage our buddies and groups list, within the tea time module, we're going to go ahead and click on manage buddies and groups. Here we can manage our buddies list and create groups for people that we regularly golf with. The buddies is a list of individual players, which can include both members and guests. In order to add a buddy, go ahead and click that add buddy button and choose whether you want to add a member or a guest. Let's start with adding a member. All you have to do is go ahead and type the member's name in that search member box, click on their name, confirm in that pop-up if you want to add them to your buddies or not. If so, click yes, add. And scrolling down, there's the member we just added to our buddies list. Now let's go ahead and add a guest. We'll click that add buddy button, and this time we're going to choose add guest. For your guest, note that the first and last name is required. Therefore, if we try and click enter just the first name, and we try and click that save button, we will get an error message. So just make sure you do enter that last name as well. Email address is optional, however if you do have an email address here, it means that this guest has an email address on file, so if the club does he have email is enabled, your guest will also receive an email notification. And save. Within the pop-up, again just make sure you click continue because you want to add that guest to your buddies list. And again just scrolling down here, there's our guest. And note that any guests that you add to either to your buddies or group will be marked with a guest here. Now let's take a look at creating groups. Groups are handy because you can add members and guests to those groups and use those groups using the quick book option when booking a tea time. To create a group, we're going to go ahead and click that create group button and you're going to go ahead and give your group a name. So this one, I'm going to call it my relatives and save. Once you've created your group, you can go ahead and add individuals to your group, similar to how we added individuals to our buddy list. So find that group, and go ahead and click on the name of the group. Next, you're going to click that add members and or guest button, and similarly to buddies, you're going to choose between a member or a guest. So we'll start with the member. So we'll go ahead and search for a member, and click their name. And are we sure we want to add them to a relatives group? We'll click continue. Now maybe we want to add a guest as well. This is the same process. We'll click add members, add our guest. Okay, so I can type my name in here again. Remember email address is optional. So if you don't have an email address for the guest, you can save without it. And click continue. Once you have everyone part of your group, we're going to go back to that buddies and groups list. And scrolling down to the very bottom, there's our relatives group. At any point, if you do want to remove anyone from your buddies or groups list, all you have to do is actually just click that X beside the individual's name. In the pop-up, just confirm if, if you want to remove them or not. If so, go ahead and click yes, remove. For a group, you can choose to remove the entire group, or if you want to remove just one individual from the group itself, click on the name of the group, and within that list, just click the X beside their name. And yes, remove. And that's how you manage your buddies and groups.